This video tells about miscarriages of justice, done into Perugia's public prosecutor's office. A serious crime report was submitted into an Italian court. In there, all ran quickly. When it seemed the case would have been resolved soon. The proceeding was transferred to Perugia, and since then, all began to run wrong. At Perugia, awfully, numerous mistakes affected proceeding. Two people enter into a public prosecutor's office. The two have to submit a legal report. In front of them, there is an experienced policeman. The report is very serious. So policeman immediately shows it to prosecutor, the one on duty at that moment. The report is inserted into crime logbook, without delay. And an anti-mafia prosecutor is assigned immediately. Policeman reads fear into eyes of the two. He explains he already heard similar facts. In situation like this, a blitz, made by an external police, is needed. You must stay ready and available to us. At the end of September, the two come back to public prosecutor's office. Unexpectedly, they find the proceeding is no longer in there. It has been moved to Perugia since mid-September. Prosecutor recommends to go to the new court as soon as possible. The two are discouraged because they understand prosecutor was not so brave to face the problem and preferred to move it away. On October 10th, the two enter into Perugia's public prosecutor's office. They ask for information about their proceeding. You must fill the specified form, and for the answer you must wait about two weeks. What? Two, two weeks? weeks? How is it possible that into precedent court, officers were serious worried about, while now no one is worried about? Officer seems to be deaf to the question. To skip the officer, the couple has the idea to send a fax directly to some prosecutor's offices, hoping to reach the right one. They ask to meet prosecutor as soon as possible, just as recommended into precedent court. Some day after, prosecutor replies with a fax to writing he doesn't want to meet them. Plus, he adds, in his writing, that they have not specified a reason of the interview. So they reply explaining better their reasons. But, prosecutor replies, again, that he is not available. He is not available. Is not available. How, is it possible? How is it possible? The two are astonished. Because, for them it's normal to believe any state prosecutor should debate, without delay, in a so serious case. At the end of November, the two are exposed to risks. So, they try to see prosecutor again. They phone to prosecutor's secretary. They discover worrying things. What a surprise! The investigation had been tasked to Rome's police. And prosecutor is still now waiting results from down there. They also hear that prosecutor had sent information at their official domicile, and finding nobody in there, they were classified as people impossible to find. Secretary's information makes them think the prosecutor hasn't read their report. Or perhaps he has not all documentation. Because into the main report was clearly written that they are not available at official domicile. And on report, there was even written the right way to deliver communications. Moreover, they don't realize why he has not used fax or electronic mail as he had just made on October. Secretary is also convinced they are far away and she is worried to find a method to give them news. But, as they ask to talk personally, they are phoning just in front of her office. While she is asking confirmation, the phone call is suspended. They 
phone again and again, but there is no answer. And they will have no longer the possibility to reconnect again. Not only prosecutor refuses to meet them, but also, since then, it was impossible to talk with secretary too. Into following months they try other ways with no result. On March 4th, 2007, a newspaper published a short story about the two people. At long last, they hope the press can move prosecutor. They also bring and send the article to an external authority, warning about what is happening at Perugia. On April 17, the prosecutors break his silence, but his communication will arrive to them later, because, one more time he doesn't reply through the ways inscribed into a report, neither, as the ones explained to his secretary. On the contrary, he sent the communication to a large list of authorities, creating the false appearance they were impossible to find. About one month later, on May 23, 2007, the two received the prosecutor's communication through a policeman. Prosecutor repeats one more time he denies any meeting. Plus, he says he is not competent to resolve problem related to their poverty. The policeman says that communication is missing of some pages, so it is in part incomprehensible. Even, though, Policemen informed the sender about the missing pages. Those pages will not be sent neither to him, nor to the two. The April 17 fax was the latest communication they received from Perugia. As far they know, no trial took place. And they never saw the face of prosecutor, except his photo. The documentation put down by the two, on the 8th of September 2006, was made up by a main writing and some attachments. The writing was about the subtraction of legal papers, the suppression of legal acts and other illicit actions. Among suspected people, there were two judges, police and employees, all people in service into the indicted public prosecutor's office. The matter was that such reports evaporated, after they reached the court, and just, before they were reported and assigned. Between December 2004 and April 2005, five out five crime reports disappeared. When the two denounced the lacking of document and an internal inquiry was made. The proceeding was affected by mistakes, oversights, as well as incongruent situations. The situation should have requested the highest attention by judges, but in general, all moved into the direction to hide facts, rather than to set the record straight. What happened into the indicted court was incredible. The internal inquiry lasted few days leaving the crime unsolved. The two had no possibility to talk with prosecutor. No possibility to debate. No possibility to submit again the missing paper. The proceeding was closed even with some evident mistakes. And unspeakable things 